Hello gamers, Steel the Bro here and welcome in the another episode of Stilovski is shitting on other content creators because of the inferiority complex. Let's go. So yeah, ages ago I had like a video where I mentioned Chase and afterwards I have used him in the thumbnail and so on because, well, he's just like a good SEO phrase, yeah? As he is essentially popular. The video was uh, basically not really like focused around Chase and that didn't stop the absolute horde of idiotic morons in the comment section to uh, scream at me uh, how much better Chase the bro of a content creator actually is and, and how I shit on him and so on, which essentially is just like a group of people that didn't watch the video. I think it should be absolutely clear that I do not have anything against Chase nor another content creators in the Souls slash Elden Ring community. I know plenty of content creators as I am in the community for like many 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 years. That being said, Chase is one of people that I don't personally know, I have never had interaction with the guy, and he exists on this channel only as a meme because of his fans. The group of fans that I am pretty sure Chase himself is not really proud of. We all as the content creators have a group of viewers that essentially walk around and spread absolute bullshit and it is just simply normal. In case of Chase there is just simply a lot of them because he is big content creator. Well at least for Elden Ring standards. That being said I want to come out clean with my thoughts on Chase and maybe like a little bit of the analysis of his channel, uh, everything that uh, basically uh, people were generally thinking I think of Chase, uh, kind of misinterpretation of things that I used to say about him and so on and so forth. So I'm just making that one video and I am not coming back to this topic. I'm still going to absolutely cherish the memes about Chase because they are funny as heck, and the idea of Chase the God as some sort of the superior PvP gamer that is just better than everyone else, no matter what, and he would do everything better, is just hilarious. So yeah, that one for sure stays. That is nothing personal against the person per se, though. So, like, let's make it clear, yeah? I cannot say that I am fan of Chase content, but I am definitely a person that is... Uh, looking at his videos from time to time and I do enjoy watching them. So yeah, this is without a doubt, nothing personal, it's just, it is just a meme. Nothing less, nothing more. My advice to everyone around, please don't take internets too seriously. It is really not worth it. And now, please enjoy the highlights from my live stream where I was talking about the whole situation with Chase. Little bit of analysis of his channel and so on. If you are going to think about it, my content is not really that far away from Chase content. Or, to be honest, any Elden Ring content creator that is focusing on gameplay pretty much doing the same. You guys just supposed to truly enjoy the content creator per se, and stop really like thinking about making some sort of the pointless wars between which channel is better and what's not. In the most of the cases, it is really pointless. Just have fun. Now, to the video. Hello gamer, you are back, that's Pogchamp. Welcome back. Hello Bronzevski, I saw your video today where you made fun of Chase the God. He is my absolute favorite and you are nothing compared to him. You are just jealous for real, for real get good. I'm sorry, and for real. That like a real people that do think that I have something against Chase the bro. It's kind of like, you know, Chase is the person that you cannot have anything against. It's just that Chase the god became the meme, yeah? Because uh, Chase has retarded fans. It's very fucking, like, young and stupid people that are absolutely obnoxious. But uh, th this is not Chase's uh, fault that he has fans like this, yeah? It just, like, comes at the cost of the popularity. Everything what I would like people to, to understand is that, like, uh, apparently uh, G also, like, making kind of references to Chase. But, like, I'm pretty sure no one really, like, hates on Chase. It's just that he has, like, his specific way of being. 
And for example, you know, when he's... What is Chase doing? Overall, he's just smurfing, yeah? he His content is all about smurfing. He's just, like, having insane statistical advantage over the average opponent that he's facing because he is playing on the upgrade below the max one, which essentially means he's never actually meeting the players that are PvP ready, or very rarely. Like, he is basically only facing people that pretty much just chilling uh or like on the on the pve yeah and it's sometimes like very ridiculous to see for an example chase like bank like giving that freaking bow yeah in front of the corpse of his victim and he's like oh gg very fun fight and in reality he fucking to shot at the guy yeah what i'm talking about here is his live streams because he's essentially invading on the live streams. He also has the weapon showcase series when he's playing on the level 125 and he's using the max upgrades here, but he is still optimizing his builds. And a lot, to be honest, more than I usually do. It also seems like he is choosing the players carefully that he's playing against. Uh, and uh, it's usually gamers that have rather fashion, souls type of builds rather than skillful players with the optimized setups, but it is only understandable because it is very hard to show the weapon that you are currently using, all its movesets and so on, when you are playing against optimal gamer. It comes from the fact that vast majority of the movesets are simply not optimal. I agree, Chase, but I never said that he's not good. Where you took that one from? I, I don't think like Chase is a bad player whatsoever. I'm just saying like his content is... It's not like a super expression of skill. He's just having fun. What you are saying, Viver, that like a Chase in his videos in Elden Ring shows that he doesn't have as much of the understanding of the game, yeah? As he had back in the Dark Souls 3. It doesn't indicate that he is a bad player whatsoever. What I'm saying is that like his knowledge is subpar. Or at least what we are seeing on the videos, it looks like his knowledge is subpar. But like mechanically wise, he's a good player. What I mean right here is that Chase getting knowledge checked from time to time, at least from that what I have seen on his videos. Let's bring the example of him facing a full bull goat, dual Trina gamer, in one of his videos. Chase was clearly mechanically better than his opponent, yet got cheesed by Trinas because he didn't use anything to raise his focus bar. No clarifying horn, no armor swap to something with more resistances. Despite Phantom being clearly overleveled, Chase would most likely wipe the floor with the guy if he would adjust his stats accordingly. This is example of the knowledge check where you are losing not because you are worse player per se, but rather because you are lacking the critical information. You think like Chase is... Yeah, I think so too, like a Chase is not playing much of the game. He's just, you know, he's making content of YouTube. It's absolutely understandable, maybe like... Exactly like many other players, he's just not enjoying the game as much, yeah? It might be the thing. The fact that other content creators like me or, or G or anyone else making the references to other content creators is not indicator of us not liking someone, it's quite opposed. It's brain dead fucking people just like looking for drama over and over. Is it true that you've had sex with Chase's bro? I don't want to stir up drama, but she e e ish. Caleb Cap. Wow. But yeah, like, uh, Chase is essentially a beautiful meme material because he's so specific, yeah? So yeah, like, essentially because of that and because of the fact like he has like this uh, group of the obnoxious fans that's shitting on everyone that is not called Chase and like making the ridiculous statements as like oh someone is fucking bad because they are like tryharding yes <laughs> whereas like a chase is like basically the perfect example of what this community would call a tryhard yeah just because like people see him like a taking like a dual great swords they just not realizing that his defenses are too through the fucking roof compared to like the opponents yeah 
that he is mostly facing. And like, you know, even with these two great swords, he is killing people in like two hits. He is just utilizing fundamentals, indeed. He's utilizing the regular game knowledge that vast majority of people that are fucking like a calling other people tryhards just do not have because they prefer to be fucking stupid. They prefer to purposefully just uh, sabotage their own individual gameplay because they prefer to make fucking drama than actually like, get better at the game. So yeah. Gamer. Backstable? No backstable. And bomb. Oh, he double rolled. <laughs> Drop of the rock at one. Oxham. Okay, I guess that's about it. I hope that clarifies my opinion on particular things to my audience. And and I really hope to not come back to this topic again. If you guys see someone in my comment section just pointlessly rambling about stupid shit, just drop the gamer the clown emoji and move on. There is really no point on wasting time to talking to someone that is like a brick wall anyway vast majority of people that write stuff in the comment section that are just straight up toxic and negative they are not going to learn their mistakes they have to be banned out and maybe maybe they are going to come to the proper conclusion at some point which is rather doubtful but anyway fuck them uh, there is no point to waste time let's just have fun and create more cool content thank you a lot for watching and i hope i'm never going to come back to uh, this type of the videos because they are fucking boring as fuck and yeah i wish you the very very best guys have a good one and i see you in the next one bye